Hello and welcome to another Views from my veranda today. Well look, with the property market on an upward move at the moment, uh, many buyers are missing out on property because they have different price expectations. So I thought today I'd talk to you about how to estimate the value of a home in a rising market. Um, so estimating the value of a property can be challenging at the best of times, especially if you're a first home buyer. But when the market shifts and average values are on the rise and properties sell at auction well above reserves, it can be tricky. So buyers um, may often get confused when properties they pursue uh, tend, to, tend to sell much higher than their expectations are, especially when comparable homes are only recently selling for a price within their budget. So how can buyers accurately estimate the value of a property? Well, look, some properties do sell well above their guides. Um, when a home is put to market, an agent usually uses comparable sales to arrive at a price guide which the owner agrees with. Those price guides are put in their agency agreement. So the property can't be marketed lower than those price guides. Um, an agent should be able to provide you with a list of those similar comparable sales. Um, as an auction campaign continues, oftentimes um, agents will get feedback and offers and they'll adjust their, their price guides appropriately and oftentimes in this market upward. So look, you need to get the best property news and sometimes that's delivered right in your inbox. Uh, in that um, problems can arise when prices are rising rapidly uh, and agents rely on yesterday's data to determine tomorrow's values. So the most accurate way uh, is to look at recent comparable sales but even having said that um, sometimes there aren't a lot of recent sales to compare against because there aren't many properties on the market at the moment. Um, in addition to that the home could be unusual or have some specific features. So with a vendor auctioning a, a home, typically they will launch the property at a lower price guide because obviously they don't want to turn buyers off by having too high a price guide. Um, and in fact, in terms of the reserve price, that isn't necessarily set until a day or two before the auction. So you just sold flyers that arrive in your letterbox, your inbox, uh, as well as through social media. That'll give you an idea of what's selling right now. Uh, in that case, you can check out the prices either online through one of the portals or talk to the agent that sold it. So it's important you compare apples to apples and do your homework. And that homework involves um, not just looking at what's been selling online, but getting out there and visiting properties, going to open houses and talking to agents. In that case, it's about, it is a numbers game. So the more properties you inspect, uh, the better informed that you become. I often come across buyers who I think within a certain price range and type of property know the market as good as any other agent. So it's a matter of doing that res research and understanding how you can actually come up with your own value on a property. But buyers do get disillusioned uh, when they miss out on a property and that's also, that's also based on the fact that someone's willing to pay a little bit more. So at the moment it's not necessarily about vendor expectations or seller's expectations, it's more about what the market is, is actually saying a property is worth um, and that's what drives it. So at the end of the day you need to come up with a type of property and a price range that you think you can secure a property in and you need to go for it. Um, sometimes you need to pay more but in this market an extra 5% is going to be nothing because in one year time prices are going to be probably up by over 10%. So another source of good information when you are looking out, out there to buy is obviously talk to your local real estate agent, the one that you actually trust, um, he'll be able to give you an idea of what a property might be actually selling for. He'll also give you some insight on the agent that's selling it in terms of their approach, whether they're willing to take a property, uh, an offer before auction or on the day of the auction. Um, so that's always good and that's where we step in, obviously, because we're here to give you that sort of advice as well. So contact us or message us. We're here to give you good, experienced, honest advice. But until next time, you all take care and look after each other. Thank you.